finally finally rising os 1.3 the very latest one with latest source and with latest security update this is the lock screen ui and here we have the owner name you guys can input your name here as a user then we have as usual android 13 android 12 point one lock screen and this is the new thing where we are getting a different lock screen okay different lock screen from android 12 android 12.1 android 13 this is not like that you guys will get this one and i've already shared a Matrix module for it if you are using any other custom room and you are liking this uh, lock screen and you want to use this then of course you guys can check out my previous video on it okay this is it this is rising os and i'm using here the home screen as a themed icons so that's why every icons are in theme asm color and mode i will share every single details about that custom rom and this is really really something different and i'm just a fan of it so watch till the end to get every single details about the rom this is rising os okay first of all let me show you and this is definitely a vanilla build you guys need to flash uh, and I recommend you guys to use the Nick Caps code always. And here you guys can see there is no about section. There is no about section. So where is the about section? Just click on that picture. Keep rising. I uh, manually write it. So here is the about section. We have storage and display size and other things. The information device. Redmi 7, Rising OS version, Android version, everything is there. And we have the latest kernel with Lineage OS Plus. Okay. And then we have device information. If you need, you can check that out. Okay. Video will be longer. So uh, stay connected. Watch till the end. Then we have the network section. What we have, let me show you. We have Force uh, LTE, which is called a force LTE CA that means carrier aggregation okay carrier aggregation if you need carrier aggregation support then enable that feature okay then let's talk about the customizations the personalizations which is very very important and everywhere you guys will get a different user interface okay before I start personalization I want to show uh, other settings like display settings you guys will get a different user interface adaptive brightness lock screen content notification everywhere you guys will get a different uh, UI actually and the uh, customizations and the separation uh, text by text is really really good and grouping is really great in, in that build everywhere you guys will get a different user interface and you uh, you won't feel you are using a custom rom like aosp free it's a different user interface and we have wallpaper and style we have something different here and i want to show you that you guys will get more wallpapers here we have huge collections wallpaper if you need you guys can use any of this okay then you guys can see here the three dot menu and we have shortcuts if you want to change and we have here the more options just click on it and you guys will get privacy settings what to show show all notification content you guys can hide notifications if you want to show sensitive content only don't show notifications at all so you guys can turn off notifications in that custom rom uh, mostly we get that kind of features on miui we don't get that kind of features in aosp based roms so this is really good okay then we have apps and notifications battery sound and vibration everywhere you guys will get a different user interface so here you guys can see the volume bar media volume call volume everything the bar icons and everywhere in the left right side you guys will get the uh, pictures or icons whatever you say and different user interface everywhere and have vibration and haptic feedback is really great and then we have charging sounds you guys can change charging sounds i already checked i'm using this one and this is really good okay then we have security we have everything like face unlock fingerprint and app lock as well and i'm using here app lock for gallery application then you guys can see here the system as usual i just want to show you we have buttons here 
if you want to use invert layout uh, wake device also recall reorient click to partial screenshot just short click on volume down and power to take short or partial screenshots okay now let's talk about the important thing in which is personalizations first of all you guys will get about us that means rising west and really thanks to mr unicorn for building this one really really thanks to him and he did a lot of work to uh, provide us a better better performance and better custom room like rising OS and he did great work on that so uh, really thanks to him then we have a lock screen as usual we have always show when charging if you want that thing and this is really great the user interface is really changed here and I'm using here edge lighting edge lighting is also fine and it's really great and working without any issues display media cover art and media cover art filter everything as usual fingerprint and ripple effect battery info uh, and you guys can change lock screen date font style uh, we have a different user interface here as well then we have the lock screen style you guys can change the lock screen cloak style just like this which is also great and here all the customizations are fine if you want to customize according to your choice you guys can do that okay then let's talk about the miscellaneous we have the gaming space we have here a different DIY everywhere you guys will get a different DIY and all the latest features included here and then we have parallel space the very important thing and which is uh, you guys can make any application as dual application you guys can do that and we have the Google service here enable of course then you have a smart pixel system manager and this is important thing a system manager aggressive idle mode that means enable aggressive idle mode features you guys can also enable that one a screen off ringer mode and turn off Wi-Fi turn off Bluetooth and turn off location everything you guys can uh, manage from that system manager and we have uh, smart pixel weather settings unlock high APS and Google photos storage and I will show you that everything here and Android P style animations and screen off animation uh, screenshot as well then we have notifications and I don't want to waste time between that things and okay let's take a, uh, have a look on quick settings battery percentage can be customized and uh, brightness slider uh, settings show always and position can be changed okay then QS dual tone if you need that thing you can enable yeah. uh, then we have vertical and height levels hide QS on secure lock screen very important thing if you don't want to show notification panel on lock screen then enable that feature QS header image filter then QS page transition okay let me show you that thing uh, here is the animation which is really great we have his collection here QS space transition these are the animations you guys can apply on QS space transition okay then we have the setting style you guys can change as usual I'm using here the surround you guys can uh, this uh, this is called the surround you guys can use any here we have shaded and cyberpunk knee mob and outline to tone accent you guys can try according to your choice and squeak thing UI I'm using the default one and I'm which is liking very much then we have the sound as usual and pulse screenshot sounds adaptive playback which is really good if you enable that one definitely you will get better better sound quality and if you need uh, DTS X ultra I already provided top four magics module you guys can try that one that was really really great and volume steps can be customized as usual okay then we have the status but the main thing we have here uh, battery style uh, and battery percentage everything as usual you guys already know what actually included in status bar so all these are included here logo and logo position style everything okay then the final thing which is user interface total UI uh, I'm using here the Mi Sans and you guys will get uh, huge collections Font collections, okay. Then we have system icon pack. You guys can change from here. Monitor setting, which I'm using right now. If you don't use the monitor setting, then you won't get the background chip on clock uh, color change, okay. Then we have the teen background, everything. 
uh, navigation bar style can be changed if you are a navigation bar user then and signal icon style uh, shapes you guys already know about that and about phone style this is the important thing we i'm using here the centered wallpaper banner and the center wallpaper banner this is called the center wallpaper banner okay we have uh, personalization then go to user interface so about phone style you guys can change to default centered wallpaper banner and center wallpaper banner big uh, all uh, these three features are available here then we have the search bar style you guys can change to aosp okay hide user card preference then uh, set setting header text which i already uh, told you uh, keep rising i already written there uh, setting style Arians card UI. I'm using a setting styles, and you guys can change to uh, Sushi Oxygen OS and Arcane. Uh, so many is it there. Okay, these are the features and something different and very much fine. Okay, now let's talk about uh, should you guys update it or not. Okay, definitely you guys can use this one, and we have the call recording feature as well. Let me show you. Here we have auto call recording options and ROM is very fine and remember one thing after first boot you guys will get uh, animation lag animation lag on icons when you just opening and closing applications just change the wallpaper and your problem will be fixed okay these are the pro they, they, that's only issue I found actually okay then let me show you the everything is fixed here Google camera is perfectly working every single positions like portrait camera and video graphic net side everything is fine and working no issues with that you guys can definitely use any kind of gcam and google photos unlimited storage let me show you and this is fine and fingerprint is super fast no issues with that and i recommend you guys to use the same finger twice okay okay let me show you the performance sections and i just flashed the room and started uh, and uh, immediately i check it and i found 85 percent and if you keep using the room for two days three days then you will get much better than that so this is really cool and uh, this is for 100 threads not for 20 or something okay and you guys will get the notification like this notification section will be like the work will like this and shadows so everything is there okay fine Okay, then uh, another thing uh, I have to show you the Geekbench score. Which is also great and if I keep checking after some times and after a few hours I will get far better than this. Okay. So as a performance sections is also great. And let me run that one. Safety net passes by default. You guys can easily use any kind of banking applications without any issues. Okay, then let me show you the maps. Google Maps is perfectly working without any delay or any problem. Okay. Then let me show you. Uh, yes, Google Photos Unlimited Storage is working or not. This is also working. I think I showed it. What is that? Okay, here is that. You guys can see the pixel can back up unlimited photos and stories. Okay, done. Uh, what I left, nothing. Everything is fine. Just awesome. You guys can easily use this custom ROM for daily drive. I have to share another thing which is launcher. You guys can change the icons if you don't like it and customize the hot set background. And you guys can definitely. Uh, use taskbar and a hidden and protected application you guys can also hide application so every single features available they actually focus everything what you need you will get everything in that rising OS so I recommend you guys to use that custom room at once uh, you will not be disappointed okay so hope you guys understand thank you for watching